There we go. And we're back. I arrived at some very interesting time signatures, uh, literally because the whole album is based on the number nine, or a nonogram, a nine-pointed star. And uh, I wanted a way to explore, I guess, the majesty of all of these numbers along the digital root system up until nine. So uh, to play a pentagon, for example, I already started by playing the notes of the internal angles harmonized against the external. So that's one way of kind of playing shapes, but rhythm gives you a, a far more perceptible anchor to understand time signatures. A pentagon, obviously, five beats in a bar. And that enabled us to explore all the different time signatures up until nine in a way that hopefully isn't too cerebral as well. I love jazz music, but often we get really uh, self-indulgent with metric modulation and almost delight in making things really complex. Seven over five, it should be seven over four, I'm probably just a typo. Cool, it's seven over five, 85 BPM. Yep. yep. I wanted a, a way to switch between time signatures that both we as musicians would enjoy, but also an audience would be able to understand and be able to feel, even if they couldn't notate it musically. The hardest thing about playing in this band is, you know, it's very technical. There's a lot of intricate kind of parts and lines, and we do a lot of stuff in our time meters as well. It's really took me out of my comfort zone and I've had to kind of adapt and kind of get really deep into places that I wouldn't have necessarily gone before. So, you know, that's, it's great. So that was quite a challenge for me as well, rather than just come with the standard jazz charts with a head, and melody and some chord changes and everybody blow. This was more, what ways can we as an ensemble get inside time signatures or get inside the vibe of five or the vibe of seven. Sueto would play me lots of like little hip hop beats that he'd made on his laptop or whatever. And uh, that stuff, I was like, wow, that, they're weird beats. There's a lot of like cross rhythm stuff that isn't very typical to hip hop. Lots of three over four and four over five, and seven over four stuff. So I was kind of like, hmm, this is going to be interesting. And then he started telling me about harmonic and rhythmic concepts that you can draw from a triangle and then the triangle has its sound that's different to the sound of a square so you you end up losing the point of the question <laughs> I came up playing bebop music, bebop jazz, and learned coming up with the masters that way. But I was, you know, I'm a young guy, so I was always open to all ideas of playing music. And one thing that I realized was that every time signature has a feel. So you don't have to count numbers, you, you just feel it. When you play in a band and everyone has their own function, their own role, it's very important that everyone understands what they need to do, especially when you're playing complex music that are dealing with different time signatures. And then it gets even more complex if different people in the band are playing different times. Then everyone has to be responsible. Everyone is responsible for the time, not just the drummer. So if you're just going to be lazy and not, not count or not feel it the right way, it's impossible. It's a nightmare. And, you know, fortunately, I've not been part of that. I don't want to be. I haven't done a lot of work in like things like nine and uh, like five over four, four over five kind of thing. Once you can feel it and you're like, oh, that's what it is. That's just the moment where it clicks and then it's ingrained. We do everything to a, to a particular groove. And so if you just understand whether it's seven, four or nine, eight or whatever, just understand what the groove is. You can never go wrong. You can count numbers, but that's it's too much counting. Man. I just rather feel it. So once you understand that, uh, there's a joy in playing in, in odd times because odd time is only odd to us. But if you go anywhere else in the world, they deal with a particular time signature. If you're in the Middle East, that's a particular time. You know, I mean, India, that's all these different places. But to them, 4-4 four, four is probably like, it's boring. You've got to listen to some people who really like kill it in odd time meters. Cause you know, I could play something in an odd time meter to my mum or something and she wouldn't know it was in an odd time meter if it feels right you shouldn't be able to tell <laughs>